Okay. Now we're back. We got interrupted and we'll pick up where we left off. We have two more to do. You ready to go? Mm -hmm. All right. Go ahead and get into your bubble with your higher power. Let me know when you're there. Be aware of your hand. Be aware of the feelings in your hand. Now you can feel your heartbeat in your fingertips. Let me know when you, when you can feel that. If you can't feel the heartbeat in your fingertips, just imagine you can. And then you'll feel it. Raise your finger when you find it. Now count evenly with your heartbeat. Take your heartbeat down to your tummy right where your belly button is. Enjoy all the good feelings that are in your bubble and take them to that spot. Let me know when you have it. Have your heartbeat in your belly button. Raise your finger when you have it. If you can't find it, just imagine that you can. Let me know when you have it. Okay. Be aware of how this warmth of the good feelings spreads throughout your whole body from your heartbeat and your belly button. The warmth goes through every place in your body. Now go to that place between your conscious and your subconscious, that place of knowing. This is where your higher power lives, the power that allows you to be more than you can be by yourself. If a thought breaks in, just observe the thought and go back to a quiet mind. Just be aware of the place of knowing and the warmth of the heartbeat in your tummy. As you observe the good feelings in your tummy, you feel your breath go in and out in a steady flow. Just observe this spot and the place of knowing for a time. Now that you're comfortable within yourself, take the heartbeat that is in your tummy up to the back of your neck and observe that spot, the place that gets tight and in knots. You allow these muscles to get warmer and warmer. Now you allow that warmth to go down into your shoulder and down your back, down your legs, and as you do so, you feel the tensions drift off into space. You take your heartbeat to the bottom of your left foot. Feel the heartbeat in your foot. Let me know when you have that. Can you feel your heartbeat in your left foot? Okay, now move it to the big toe on your left foot. Now take it to the big toe on your right foot. Practice moving your heartbeat to all parts of your body when you're doing this by yourself at any time. Now take your heartbeat back to the center of your tummy and feel how warm and comfortable and relaxed your whole body feels. If you have pain in any part of your body, you take that heartbeat to that spot and allow it to hurt just as much as it wants to. Allow your heartbeat to throb with the pain, knowing that you are just an observer of the pain and it has nothing to do with your spirit. You can take the warmth up to that spot where the pain is and feel the warmth absorbing the pain. Now you go back to the heartbeat in your tummy and become aware of the place of knowing and the good feelings are in the bubble. Come back when you want to. Okay, break state, look at me. Are you back? <laughs> yeah, I'm back. Okay, so that's kind of erasing it, ready, getting ready for the next one. All right. Climb back into your bubble. If you want, you can push your, back your pressure point yourself. Find your heartbeat and go into your bubble. Let me know when you're there. Now go to a theater that you really enjoy going to. Maybe one that you go to now, or one from your childhood, or one from your imagination. On the marquee are listed the negative emotions or situations that happened in your life that you wish to watch yourself do bubble work on today and release. You walk up to the ticket office and you buy a ticket. Then you step off to the side, you step outside of yourself, leaving one of yourselves on the sidewalk. You give the ticket to the usher and you 
walk forward, you look back outside and see the person that is you standing there on the sidewalk. You walk up to the stairs and you step out of yourself and you walk up to the stairs counting as you go. One, two, three, four, <coughs> five. And then you turn around and look and you see one of yourselves at the bottom of the stairs and the other one still standing on the sidewalk. You turn and open the door and go into the projection room. There you see long rows of cans of film, the movies of your life, of who you are. The first one is the movie of the negative emotion or situation that you're working on right now. You take the film out of the can and thread it through the projector. Then you walk over to the little hole that looks out on the screen and one of you floats down to the front row of the theater. You're now sitting with your higher power with God, observing yourself as the movie begins and you see yourself on the screen like a little Jetson car in a bubble with your higher power and you're moving from easel to easel, picture frame to picture frame and you peek in and you look and you see if you're okay in that particular picture frame that you leave yourself there but if you're finding that you're in distress or something's wrong or you don't want to be in that next picture frame then you pull yourself out of the picture frame and into the bubble and the you that is sitting in the front row and not see inside of the picture frames, just observing you in the movie. Keep going, visit all the picture frames, and let me know when you're done. When you're finished, you take that self that is sitting in the movie theater and you watch the movie end and you watch the credits and you realize that the movie is over and you can come back anytime you want. You step inside, you, you take yourself that is in the theater and you float up through the little hole in the projection room. You step back inside of the self that is in the projection room. And then you walk over and you unthread the film, you put it back in the canister and you put it back in the rack, knowing that you can change this movie anytime you want, return to move to, to move on and work on the next. You turn and turn out the light, and you leave the projection room, and you close the door. You look down the stairs, and you see yourself standing there. You go down the stairs, counting as you go: one, two, three, four, five. You step back inside of yourself there. Then you walk outside. You step inside the person that is there on the sidewalk and you look up at the marquee and the lights go out. Come back when you're ready. I did want to say that uh, my email is thelorica.kelly at gmail.com, T-H-E, capital L-O-R-I-C-A dot K-E-L-L-Y at gmail.com. If you have any questions or would like to be taken through the bubble work, um, and then I can give you a copy of it. Um, Bob Beaver, as a reminder from what I said at the beginning, he uh, was given this in meditation. He said, meditation is our step out into the sun as though on a sunlit beach, let us become willing to partake and be strengthened. And he quoted this from the 12 Steps and 12 Traditions book. He lived in his old camper often uh, outside of the, or in the old growth forest outside of Oak Ridge, Oregon. And he always said the bubble work is a free gift from God. So it is never to be sold, never to be rewritten, and it's freely given and is passed out for free. Uh, bubble work is the spiritual healing of memories technique based on prayer and visualization that Bill Wilson speaks of in the book, The Twelve Steps and the Twelve Traditions. It's related in spirit and in practice to neuro-linguistic programming, meridian point tapping, supercharged quantum touch, acupressure, Reiki, therapeutic touch, laying of hands, universal life force healing, and other energetic healing prayer modalities.
Bubble work is a safe guided meditation. It is trauma informed, uh, trauma informed healing, and it's helpful to learn before doing deep inventory work. People ha doing this have recovered from cycles they were stuck in of old trauma and grief or relapse, and it's done without ever looking at or directly uh, talking about difficult memories. Um, bubble work is uh, give a gift given by God. And if you're interested, please contact me, and we'd be very glad to walk you through it. Here's a very bad picture of Bob Beaver. I will try and get a better picture to post online. And we are done. Thank you very much. And Rocky, that is your copy. Thank Free you. to do whatever you want with it. You can okay. take other people through it or use it yourself or throw it away. It's just whatever you'd like to do. Thank you. Okay.